and welcome to another VRTK tutorial video. In this video, we're going to show how we can set up climbing so we can climb up objects and throw our pseudo body around. And we're also going to see how we can create a teleport point at the top of our climbable object. So when we let go, we teleport into that location. Please consider becoming a VRTK patron. There are plenty of membership levels to sign up at, and it really helps to fund these videos. So we're in the scene where we set up our teleporter and our pseudo body with our axis move. And I've added some more objects here, these poles and these climbing handles. And what we're going to do is make these so we can climb up them and we can throw ourselves about. So to start with, the first thing we need to do is go and add the climbing package. So we do that as always by going to window, then down to Tilia, and then to the package importer. And then if we look down the list and we find locomotives climbing, we just need to add that to our project. And once that's been added, we can close down our package importer window. And now all we need to do is add in our climbing locomotor by going to Tilia and then to prefabs and then to locomotors and then to climbing and then locomotors climbing. And that brings in the climbing prefab and we'll drag that down to the bottom so we can see it easier. And then on our locomotors climbing prefab, we don't need to set anything up on the climbing facade, but we do need to set up the pseudo body climb target. And this tells the climbing facade what to follow around when we're climbing and we want to follow our pseudo body around. So on the pseudo body climb target, there is a pseudo body facade property. So we need to just add our pseudo body to that. So let's go and grab our pseudo body, drag and drop it into there. And that is our locomotive climbing prefab now set up. So the next thing we need to do is turn these objects into climbable objects. So if we look inside climbable objects, we've got all these climb poles, which are different objects for climbing. And then inside climb handles, we've just got a bunch of individual spheres. But instead of turning all of these into individual climbing objects, I'm just going to turn climb handles into a climb object. And we can do that simply by going up to the window menu, going to Tilia and then interactions. And now we have this climbable creator option and we can click there. And now all we need to do is specify the climbing facade we're going to be connecting to. So that's our locomotive climbing. So we can grab, drag and drop that into there. And then with climb handles selected, we just need to click convert to climbable. And that converts all those game objects inside this one climbable object. And then for the rest of them, I'm going to do them independently. So they'll all become their own climb objects. But we can do that again by getting them all selected. And then with our climbing facade still set to our locomotive climbing, if we now click convert to climbable, it'll convert each one of those to its own climbable object. And there we go. We've set up climbing. So if we were to run the scene now, we'd be able to grab onto those things and pull ourselves around, climb up and throw ourselves about. However, because we've got a teleporter set up in this scene, we do need to do additional work to disable that teleporter when we're climbing. Otherwise, when we release, we'll immediately teleport back to the ground and we won't fall. We won't be able to throw ourselves around. So you may actually want that so you wouldn't have to do these steps. But if you don't want that, then keep watching and we'll show how to disable the teleporter. So on the climbing facade, we've got these two events, climb started and climb stopped. So the first thing we're going to do in our climb started is add a listener. And all we're going to do is turn off the teleport pointer. So when we are climbing, we can't accidentally activate the pointer, which wouldn't make any sense. So in our teleport logic, we're going to grab the object pointer curved. And all we're going to do for the function is select the game object, set set active and leave it as false. And then when we stop climbing, we want to make sure we turn that back on. So we're going to grab, drag and drop our object pointer curved again, and then set the game object set active to true. And then the next thing we need to do is when we start climbing, we actually want to pause our snapping in our teleporter. So again, if we open our teleporter, open all the way down to the snap to floor logic, we've got the pause snapping and resume snapping. So we want to call pause snapping. So we're going to grab, drag and drop that into here. And then for the function, we're going to set the empty event proximeter and call receive. And thirdly, we've got this resume snapping that gets called whenever our pseudo body touches the ground. Now we can be climbing and our pseudo body can touch the ground, which would call resume snapping, but we don't want that to happen unless we've stopped climbing. So what we're going to do is add another listener here and we're simply just going to turn this game object off. So game object set active false. So when we are climbing, we can never resume snapping. And then when we stop climbing, all we're going to do is make sure we turn this game object back on. So what that will do is whenever we stop climbing and our pseudo body does touch the ground, the resume snapping will get called because it's turned on. So there we go, we've now set it up where we can climb around things and we can use our pseudo body to throw ourselves around and teleporting won't kick in until we start touching the floor and we've stopped climbing. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to have a look up here. So if I just zoom up to this part here, we can see there might be a problem as we climb to the top. When we get up here and we put ourselves into this area, we can't actually lift ourselves high enough to put our pseudo body on top of here. We could pull ourselves into this area and hope that the snap of the pseudo body pushes us up into the right location. But what could happen is the collision resolution could push us backwards and make us fall down. So what we're going to do here is set up a little teleport zone 
of when we enter this teleport zone and we stop climbing it actually teleports us to a known location up here that's our saved climbed location but to do that i'm just going to create a cube 3d object cube and we're going to call this teleport trigger point and i'm just going to put this into the position of where i roughly want this teleport trigger point to be and we need to rotate this a bit because the scenery is rotated and the useful thing here having the mesh on really makes it easy to see where this point is going to be and if i put my pseudo body anywhere within this collider that's what's going to cause the teleport so now I can turn the mesh off because I know roughly where it's going to be. And then the next thing we need to do is set our box collider to is trigger. Now we need to add another component and we need to add the collision tracker to track any collisions with this collider that we've set up. So let's do add component and then we're going to add a collision tracker. And for our emitted types, we only need to worry about trigger. So we're going to unselect collision so it's only on trigger. And then for the states to process, we don't really care about the stay. So we're going to take the stay off so it only does enter and exit. And now we need to set up a rule as well. So this collision tracker only listens for collisions from our pseudo body, which is easy enough because our pseudo body is already on a layer of pseudo body. So we can use that knowledge by going back to the teleport trigger point and we're going to add an any layer rule. And at any layer rule, what we're going to do is on layer mask is just select pseudo body. And then in the collision tracker tracker settings, we're going to use this any layer rule on our collider validity. So that will say only accept collisions from whatever this rule states is correct. And this rule says only accept collisions from anything that's on the layer of pseudo body. The next thing we need to do now is just set up a spawn point that we'll consider our safe spawn. So I'm just going to do this simply by just creating a simple sphere. And then we're going to position this sphere wherever I think we should be able to spawn. So I'm just going to move it about there. And then I'm going to change the size of this sphere so it's a little bit smaller. And if I just move it down a bit and then move it over a bit, we'll say this is our valid teleport area. We don't actually need a sphere collider on it, so I'm going to remove that. And this is just a little bit of visualization. So when we see this sphere, we know that we're going to teleport to that position. You could make this look nicer by adding some teleport effect or whatever you want it to do to show the user this is where they're teleporting to. And let's just rename this from sphere to teleport spawn point. So also on here, we want to do some logic. So we're going to add an empty event proxy emitter. And the first thing we want to do is make sure we call resume snapping because when we release from our grab, we want actually to snap to the nearest floor. So we're going to call resume snapping and then we're going to call the empty event proxy emitter and call receive. And then the next thing we need to do is just call our teleporter. So our teleporter instant and we're going to call in the teleport facade. We're going to call the teleport method and we're just going to pass our teleport spawn point as the parameter. And now what we want to do is go back to our locomotives climbing and we're going to say when we stop climbing we're going to call this teleport spawn point we're going to call the empty event proxy meter and we're going to call receive now what that's going to do is anytime we stop climbing it's going to teleport us to this position which isn't great if we're climbing up one of these poles or we're climbing up here or we're climbing up here and we let go too early we'd always teleport to there so what we're going to do is turn our teleport spawn point off by default and we're only going to turn it on when our teleport trigger point has collided with the pseudo body so when our pseudo body comes into this area we're going to turn this game object on by going collision started teleport spawn point game object set active true and then whenever we stop colliding with this we're going to turn our teleport spawn point back off so we're going to say teleport spawn point game object set active false and there we go we've set up a simple trigger collider area that when our pseudo body enters that and we stop climbing We'll teleport to our safe location and then whenever we climb up anything else we won't teleport into that safe location we'll just fall down to wherever we've let go so let's jump into the scene and we can see this working so we're in the scene and if we walk up to our climbing poles we can now just grab them and we can see we can simply climb around and we can grab and use some velocity and throw ourselves about and we can see if we look down there we can't see the sphere and if i was to let go we just fall all the way down and now if i go over to the climbing wall and we climb up this wall we can see now when we get to the top of this wall the sphere becomes enabled and that means that we're in this teleport area so if i was to let go here we teleport into our nice location and then if i was to walk off the wall we teleport down because we've got that teleporter set up that doesn't allow us to fall when we walk off things but if i was to let go from just up here where we're not into that teleport zone we just fall down as normal and there we go we've set up climbing in our scene and a simple climb teleport zone i hope you found this video useful if you have, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. Leave any likes, dislikes, comments down below. Please consider becoming a VRTK patron. And I'll see you for the next video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.